Thank you, Lauren. Well, are you hungry for a new read or starving for a good story? Today, we are turning the pages on some pretty unique books that do more than tell a good story. They also satisfy your taste buds. We are talking about some amazing edible books that will be on display this weekend at the Western New York Book Art Center. Today, we're joined by Sam Epps and Krista Tabak. You are from the Western New York Book Art Center. Now, I have to say I'm really excited about this because not only do I love reading, but I also love puns. And you brought two examples of these edible books, so why don't we start this one right here. Yeah, absolutely. So mine is actually a pun on the book Anne of Green Gables. Um, as you can see, it's Anne of Green Bagels. <laughs> Which is absolutely hilarious. And then right over here we have another sort of literary inspired delight and that is? Peter Pancake. So it's based on the book Peter Pan, uh, made out of pancakes. So this might be a little bit interesting for a lot of people to see book inspired cakes, two worlds that don't often combine, but you're bringing literary and culinary together with this pretty interesting um, festival. Why don't you give me a little information about that? Sure, it's this Sunday from four to 8 p.m. Anyone and everyone is encouraged to enter. You just have to visit our website, um, which is www.wnybookarts.org slash events. Um, and really, we're just hoping to get people to come down. Um, it brings artists and people who are interested in food and bibliophiles together for a really fun event. And then Sam, give me a little rundown of why we're doing this. What, what's the purpose behind this? Well, I think the Edible Book Festival, it's an, it's an annual festival that we've, we've been doing every year, and it's also an international festival. Um, so we, we've kind of brought that to, our, to, to home, to the Book Arts Center. Um, another thing is that it, it really brings a sense of community to the Book Arts Center, too. Um, it's not very often that um, we have a lot of like child-centric events, so it's really nice to, to bring those, those kids in and have a sense of community and family. And when we're thinking about the idea of the Western New York Book Art Center, this plays in perfectly because we're not just talking about the stories, we're also sort of celebrating the art of the book binding and printing process. Why don't you give me a little information about the Book Art Center? Sure, um, we're located at Washington and Mohawk downtown. Um, and we're um, an educational nonprofit dedicated to the art of the book. So any kind of art making process that goes into making a physical book are the things that we focus on. And you have two examples, the sign that the festival is actually printed on, the flyer, and this other one, these are all hand printed at the Western New York Book Art Center. Correct, using antique uh, letterpress equipment. And we did a story not too uh, shortly ago, mm -hmm. and I got to see this all firsthand. And it's a very unique experience. Now for people that want to participate in the event and they want a little inspiration to make sure that their cake is just as unique as yours too, mm -hmm. where are we finding this inspiration? Um, I, I think I'm, I find my inspiration just from my childhood. Anna Green Gables is a book that I've, I've read as a child, um, and I love puns, as you also know. Um, so I, I thought it would be just a kind of a funny spin on it. Um, you can really draw inspiration from anywhere. Um, you know, Krista also drew inspiration from her childhood, Peter Pan. Um, so you really just have to look all around you. It's, it's everywhere. And Chris, I'm so tempted. It looks like you could actually open up this cake. You can, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Uh, but you know, this is a great way to, like you said, inspire kids to read. Maybe mm -hmm. if your kid doesn't want to read, you can make him a Peter Pan cake and be like, you can't eat it <laughs> until you've read the book yeah. and, and talk to me about it. That's a good right. idea. Just real quick, remind us one more time when the event's happening. This Sunday at the Book Art Center from 4 to 8 p.m. And are you still taking submissions? Yes, up until Saturday night at 6. All right, well, thank you two for coming and giving me a little literary inspiration. It's an awesome idea.